Freewell just came out with a new set of filters, and if you buy this set, odds are you're probably never gonna need to buy a filter ever again because you get everything you could possibly need in this little pouch right here. We're gonna run through what you get, how it all works, and that's that. So you're probably looking at these four filters right here and wondering, well, that's not all the filters I could possibly need in the world. Well, it is, and it's kind of smart, and we'll show you that. So inside you get two different kinds of ND filters. You get a two to five stop and a six to nine stop. ND filters, as you probably are aware, are basically to allow you to shoot in really bright days and maintain that 180 degree shutter rule so you're getting your nice motion blur. If you're using it inside or on a cloudy day, you might use the two to five. If you're using it on a really bright day in bright sunny environments like a wedding or something, six to nine stops is gonna get you covered. You also have the base for the variable ND, which goes behind one of these, and I'll show you how that works in a second. And then the same thing, but with mist. So you get your two to five stop with regular, also with mist, your six to nine stop with regular, also with mist. However, on the other side, you also have circular polarizers. Now circular polarizers are used for reducing reflections or unwanted light coming into the lens. So if you wanted to see through water, like what's through the water, see some fish or something, or you wanna cut through a window so you can see what's on the other side of the window without getting that horrible glare on the outside and the reflection from the sun. A circular polarizer will allow you to do that. Now you get two different kinds of polarizers, just your CPL, regular circular polarizer, and then an ND32. So if it's a really, really bright day and you also wanna cut through the reflections, that's where you'd use the ND32. So let's say I needed to use a two to five stop ND filter with mist. Well, this is the base of how it all begins. This is on the front of the lens. There's a little indentation there. Find your base with mist, slot that in just there like that. Get your two to five stop. Find the A, which is right there. And uh, there's two little arrows. Don't know if the overhead view is gonna pick it up there. Just kind of attach it there so they line up just like that. And now you have a two to five stop on your lens, just like that. But let's say you wanna reduce the mist or get rid of the mist, which is one eighth of diffusion. Mist is gonna basically give you a really nice halation on any highlights or bright lights that you have. So I'm using a mist filter right now, and you can see in the back there how it kind of glows. That's how a mist filter is going to affect your image, and this is a one-eighth of diffusion. Let's say you wanna just have a regular ND filter in there though, regular variable ND. Put the base in there, and then you do the same thing. Find the two little arrows there, match the A up, and now you have two to five stop regular variable ND filter. What about if you need to do your six to nine? Same thing, just pop that on like that. So you can see how this whole system just works together really easily and it's very straightforward and so quick to change out your filters. And you're probably wondering, well, what about if I wanna use my circular polarizer? How does this, which is a two to five stop ND, also become a circular polarizer? Well, that's how, you just flip it around the other way. Remove the base, put your circular polarizer on the front so it says CPL on the front there and now you have a circular polarizer. And as I turn this, you're gonna see, I'll overlay something over the top, you'll see how, how this works and you can suddenly cut through your reflections there. And then the same thing with your ND32 circular polarizer. Just pop it on the front, it's as simple as that. So I can go from an ND32 circular polarizer back to a variable ND two to five stop that quickly. Or if I wanna change it out so it's a mist six to nine stop, take that base out, pop that back in like that, flip that over and you're good to go. Put a cover on it, you're set. It's a very straightforward system, but it works incredibly well, and uh, I'm a little bit impressed. Well done, Freewell, well done. Odds are you're probably gonna leave this on your lens most of the time because you don't have to have anything on there and it just kind of sits on the front, it doesn't interfere with your image or anything. So you can just leave that on there, pop those in there like that. So there we go, zip that up. That's how big it is by comparison to an iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's not very big whatsoever. That'll fit in your bag nice and easy and you have every filter you could possibly need. By comparison, it's gonna be a lot cheaper to buy a kit like this than it is to buy all the filters separately. You're probably gonna save quite a bit of money. Now, although it being a more budget-friendly system than buying everything separately, they've actually said they haven't sacrificed in terms of optical glass and each filter in the kit has 18 layers of coatings so you're protected for waterproof, dustproof, oilproof, and they're all scratch resistant as well. So there we go. Thanks for sending that through free well. I'll pop a link down below if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.